Well, every spring, uh, the city of Fort Wayne seems to come alive as people bask in warm weather, spending more time out of their homes at parks, restaurants and doing outdoor activities. Nature in 21 country is a lot like that too, emerging after the delayed season. And you don't have to go very far to see an oasis teeming with life. Hard to believe this sits on Fort Wayne's doorstep. Eagle Marsh is um, over 831 acres and we have over 11 miles of hiking trails. Mariah Russell works for Little River Wetlands Project. So this is pretty um, solid and shallow, but the farther you go out, the deeper the muck layer. And that's the, the decaying plant matter, um, which makes it a wetland and provides all that nutrients um, for all the creatures here. In the last few weeks, she started to see the nature preserve come alive. This is usually a really good spot um, where we see a lot of turtles sunning themselves um, on the first warm days of spring and they will um, dig in the, the banks and lay their eggs. Um, you can see some little paths like this that cut through um, the marshy areas. Um, those are made by muskrat or even beaver. Um, we have lots of beaver here as well as muskrat. Um, could also be made by otter. We've, we've had otter sightings out here as well. There are a lot of birds right now. Um, we're, we're winding down on some migration time. And so um, we have seen uh, pelicans out here, sandhill cranes. Uh, we have documented over 250 species of birds found at Eagle Marsh, which is kind of a big deal. When water um, inundates the trees too much, they will eventually die, um, but that just makes great habitat for bats. So there are lots of uh, tadpoles in the water right now. So frogs have already, um, you don't hear a lot of frog calls right now because they were really active in, in the early spring. So they've already laid their eggs. Those eggs have hatched and turned into tadpoles and now they're, they're growing and growing and soon we'll have a bunch of little frogs everywhere. Though there were signs of mammals living in the wetlands, all stayed hidden from our cameras. It's kind of in this midday heat, there's not a lot of creatures out. <laughs> But vegetation is working overtime to grow. So having a delayed spring, you know, some of our plants are just now coming up, whereas maybe if it were a little bit warmer, a little sooner, they would have been up and, and already started to bloom. Um, one of the first ones that we have bloom is foxglove beard tongue, which is a really important flower for bumblebees to feed on. Um, but other species go by different cues and they will be out and, and mating and laying eggs even in the coldest of temperatures. People now guests visiting a piece of 21 country given back to Mother Earth. 17 years ago, um, this field was corn stubble and now it's a thriving habitat that supports salamanders and otters and bald eagles, um, beaver, muskrat, um, all manner of, of wildlife and it's just incredible to watch that. As you can imagine, nature photographers love to spend a lot of time out at Eagle Marsh. They share photos of what they find, including otters, owls, and other rare birds to the Little River Wetlands Project Facebook page. We'll include links on how you can see the community album on our website, WPTA21.com.